What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and I'm out here with the Hubson H501S and as you can see down here it has a different type of connector sticking out of it and that's because I have a a 2S battery in here. It's, it's still a 2S battery but it has the XT60 connector on the end of it and so what I have here this is an EC2 to XT60 adapter. The name of the uh, socket on the Hubson H501S is called an EC2. And so I just have a male end going to a female end that allows me to plug up one of these batteries with the XTC, um, XT60 connector on it. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because the stock battery is only uh, 15C. It has a discharge rate of 15C, which is very, very low. It's actually 10C, which is very, very low for uh, a craft this size. And I, I imagine that they did that to uh, squeeze as much flight time as they could out of it. But I think that uh, hampers performance on it, though. Um, so things like punch out and um, sporty flying suffers um, I believe um, due to that and so that's just exactly what we're going to test now I'm going to see uh, how much more punch out it has with a battery like this this is uh, uh, this is a 2s battery but it's discharge rate is 25c so more than double the 10c discharge rate of the stock battery so without further ado we're gonna plug this thing in make sure it works I have not flown it with this battery yet so I'll be this will be new to me too its results but I have plugged it in to make sure that it does plug in let me put this cam on my head so I can plug this thing up And I couldn't get the battery bay to uh, all of that, all of the wires to fit inside the battery bay, but that's okay as long as they don't get in the way of the props. So I'm gonna do the calibration procedure here real quick. This way, and we're ready. It's saying no GPS because there's no GPS on the uh, quad right now. Let's turn the lights solid. And I do have the upgraded transmitter out here I'm going to fly it with. It beeps when there's no GPS connection to the quad to let you know. So right, already we have nine GPS satellites locked in with this thing, so we're gonna take off. Let's see. Okay, we're in altitude hold mode. Already I can see that this thing is jumping up hot faster than it usually does. Definitely seems more spunky. Let's put it in GPS lock. The GPS is working. Now I removed the self-centering uh, off the throttle stick, so it's a little hard for me to find the middle point of it. But for the most part, I like it better this way. So let's come out of GPS hole, fly this thing around and see, oh yeah, it goes up faster it seems. Now I'm really interested in seeing how this thing flies in sport mode. Manual mode. 
let's go down and select manual mode. Now let's check it out. a little faster <laughs> I can feel the power in it definitely gives it a little more spunk Check it out. Awesome, let's see a throttle punch. Gonna land it. Not bad. <laughs> now, one thing I can say is uh, the lights don't turn red when you do a punch out all the time. See, I just did a punch out there with the stock battery. The rare light LEDs will be turning red from a punch out. Now I imagine that the battery will probably die quicker with a battery with a high discharge rate like this. I want to get an idea of how long the battery will last. I'm tempted to try, to try a, a flip with it in this mode. <laughs> a little windy out here. And that's what will happen if you try to flip it. <laughs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> the rear LEDs aren't blinking yet. The 
we're back in GPS mode again. The transmitter is saying that we have 7.2 volts still. So the battery seems to be going pretty good. I would imagine with some uh, different props, it'll probably get more sporty too. Yeah, it might get more sporty with some uh, different props. Uh, I think these props are designed mainly for uh, stability. I just kicked the throttle up just now and the rear LEDs did turn red that time. So the battery should be getting a little low. You can get it to stay put by peek down at it. Still at 7.2 volts. I still have it in GPS mode. I'm wondering why it's fighting with me when I'm trying to fly it. So we just got a little red flicker there. As you can see there. So let's do a punch out. See if we can get it to turn red now. Yep, it's red. Transmitter says uh, 7.0 volts. I guess we'll judge from the video approximately how long we've been flying it. Taking into consideration that I did do a few flips with it. And a few punch outs as well. Fighting some wind out here too. And my transmitter just gave me a beat. I don't know if that was a low battery warning or not. It stopped though. Wind just got a little stronger. Little bugs are hitting me in the eye. <laughs> So we're starting to get a flash now. Six point nine volts is the reading on the uh, transmitter.
So it seems like it flies a, around the same amount of time with this battery. And it gives it a little more um, power, it seems. That's landed. Still says 7.1 volts. But that's all I'm gonna run it for for now. I guess we can run it all the way into its entirety another time. Uh, and I guess we'll see how long it takes to auto land. But that's it. The Hubson H501S with the EC2 to XT60 adapter and a 25C battery in here. Let's see what's the milliamp hours on it. It's two, 2200 milliamp hours. So, and I, I believe the stock battery is 27 milliamp hours. Flown with the upgraded transmitter. Thanks for watching.